Well, thank you so much. Can, can everybody hear me? Yes. Can, can you hear me now? Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for the invitation. Um, I think I sp spoke here when I first started here way back, uh, it seemed like to me, 15 years ago, and uh, was gracious enough to uh, accept the invitation again uh, today. So uh, you guys have a lot of energy, and uh, I feel really outnumbered. So. Uh, <laughs> So if I get nervous, then I'll call on the other male in this room to kind of bail me out. <laughs> and uh, um, so, let's see if I can do this here. Do, 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 do. I like a lot of technical things. You guys will learn about me, and uh, sometimes I get messed up. So, <laughs> so um, wanted to lighten things up. Um, and to talk about something that's not so technical, that's not so medical, and, and I'll, I'll get to uh, how we got to this topic uh, in a little bit during this presentation. Um, let me try this. So, this is kind of like humor in healthcare. Uh, Laughter is the best medicine, and uh, I'll be showing some of these things here for people uh, who, are, who I'm blocking over here. So it says, your symptoms are completely alien to me. So, and sometimes I feel like this uh, in the office. Uh, so yeah, it's, I have been uh, here in Salem uh, for uh, 15 years, uh, and uh, I work at the Family Practice Center of Salem, and uh, this is our little commercial. Uh, we're accepting new patients. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm originally from the area. Uh, my parents um, are still up in the Canfield area, uh, and my father is a, a retired surgeon, uh, and he worked up at Northside Hospital uh, for 33 years. He, was a, he is a, a ear, nose, and throat specialist. He's been retired for about uh, three years now. Uh, they, both uh, my mom and dad came from the country of the Philippines uh, in the late 1960s, uh, and they landed in Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, and uh, there was a huge uh, Filipino community there back then. Uh, and uh, my father did his training at Northside, and my mom was a lab tech actually at Northside at uh, St. E's Hospital. And uh, she used to live where the Youngstown State University campus is now, and she used to walk to Northside every day back and forth. Now, you would never do that now, uh, but uh, because you know, she didn't have a car, she didn't drive, and uh, it's, a, it's great to hear their stories. And uh, my brother uh, and his wife, they live uh, up in uh, Austin Town, and uh, my wife, uh, we, we met at uh, Youngstown State. She uh, works in education, and uh, she works in the uh, uh, Board of Education uh, in Alliance. So she had nothing to do with the bed bugs that you're hearing about at uh, <laughs> Alliance High School there. So, uh, so yeah. So you may have seen me uh, on TV. Uh, the uh, the hospital here, the medical center here, uh, has been gracious enough to ask me to uh, sometimes go to uh, go up to uh, uh, WKBN and uh, do some uh, talks on some health topics, and uh, it's been very nice for the hospital to do that. So how did we come up with this uh, with this topic? So uh, so my nurse Rita is here, and uh, uh, and we were uh, talking last week when I was thinking about topics for no 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 um, <laughs> we're talking about topics for this talk, and uh, and she said you know Dr. Savella she said you know people hear you know a lot about things like high blood pressure and hypertension and all that kind of stuff, and why don't we just talk about something fun, uh, something light, uh, and talk about humor and healthcare and. Uh, uh, and that's a, a medical student uh, who rotates with us, and her father works here at the hospital. He's a pathologist here, so we have a lot of fun uh, uh, at the office there. So we're going to talk about uh, laughter and humor and in um, uh, and, and healthcare, which can be, as you know, a serious business sometimes. Uh, and uh, one of the things I do is, uh, as you heard in the introduction, uh, I like. Uh, uh, social media, Facebook, Twitter, all that type of stuff, and, and I've been working with great organizations uh, like Stanford University in California, and this topic was actually on humor and healthcare, uh, and uh, it was a great, great fun working with them. So let's kind of dive into things here, you know. Um, so you'll see this cartoon here, and it says, uh, everyone is here to save you, but unfortunately, you're not in the computer. <laughs> And if you've been in a hospital or been taking care of people in the hospital, you know exactly what this is. Um, and right after this talk, I'm going to be going upstairs and getting back to work and, 
and fighting with the computer again. So <laughs> it's a reality of the thing, and I uh, um, <laughs> hate to be that guy right there. <laughs> um, so as I was preparing for this talk, I, I asked some of my friends um, about um, humor in healthcare, uh, and I'm going to read some of these things here for you. Um, and April is a, uh, a psychologist that, uh, and she lives uh, in uh, the New Orleans area. She works with the VA, and I asked, I asked some of my friends to talk about this. And uh, she says, uh, be funny, or people like funny, uh, be gentle, and avoid telling jokes at someone's expense, but do tell jokes. Serious doctors are scary. <laughs> And uh, my friend uh, Viviana, she's a family physician, uh, and uh, she lives down in um, North Carolina. And she says, talk about importance of having the humility to laugh at ourselves, uh, to figure out that we can never understand everyone, uh, know everything, and get it all right. So sometimes you just have to, I sit there and just say, sometimes I don't know. Um, and that's a, that's a big thing to do sometimes. Uh, Sarah is a family physician in uh, New York State. Uh, New York City area. Uh, she says, my mother is a social worker and talks about uh, our ability uh, to laugh at ourselves and a really strong, it's a really strong sign of good mental health. Uh, and Sharon is a uh, retired physician out in California and she says, uh, a, a few good doctor jokes are always good. I always felt that if my patient and I couldn't laugh about something during most visits, I wasn't doing my best. So, so these are from the other side here, from, from, from health professionals and physicians about about this. Um, I, I always like getting quotes. Uh, it says, uh, never go to a doctor's office whose plants have died. And uh, I used to, when I, when I uh, first started at the Family Practice Center of Salem, I was given a plant and uh, it didn't last very long. Uh, <laughs> Despite uh, my staff trying to uh, really help, uh, so I thought this was a funny, funny quote here. So I don't need to tell you all this, but I mean, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty obvious, you know, as I read some of these physical health benefits, you know, of of being of laughter, of humor, of trying to keep things light. Uh, it does boost immunity. You know, I did read some studies on that, and uh, you know, people feel better with with uh, with a smiling face and humor. Uh, lowers your stress hormones, uh, relaxes your muscles, prevents heart disease. There's, there's some pretty good data out there, and, and you guys have, have heard the terms, you know, mind over matter and, and mind body connection and mindfulness. That's what's huge now, kind of in the in the popular press. Um, and decreases pain. Um, and I, I talk with uh, my patients, you know, about, you know, laughter and humor and trying to keep things light because people know, you know, the other side of it. If people are sad or depressed, people's pain symptoms get worse, they feel worse. Um, so, I mean, if you're having a tough or a bad day, I mean, it's, a, it's kind of try to easy, easy way to, to try to turn things around a little bit. And this is a quote from, uh, from Jackie Mason. It's, it's no longer a question of staying healthy. It's a question of finding a sickness you like. Uh, and actually, a patient told me this. I was, wow. And then I was like, who's Jackie Mason? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, in addition to physical health benefits, I mean, there's a lot of, of mental health benefits too, and, and we know a lot of people who are, you know, suffering um, with uh, depression and anxiety and things like bipolar disorder, which are very, very difficult uh, diseases to uh, to deal with. And you know, everybody's really familiar with pills and medications and that type of thing, but you know. Um, having more uh, humor and having uh, more laughter in your life, you know, does things like, you know, adds joy and, and zest to your life, eases anxiety and fear, uh, relieves stress, uh, improves mood, uh, and enhances resi resilience. And, uh, um, and, and we talk about this at the office all the time. I mean, not only with patients, but just, just with the staff there. You know, sometimes you just really have a tough day. <laughs> 
<laughs> and something just happens and it just, it, it, it's, laughter is infectious as you all know and one person starts laughing and, and then this laughter just kind of goes right down the room and right down the row of rooms and, and throughout the office. Uh, so, and I can see everybody smiling there. You, I know everybody has a story in there, and some of them are probably not allowed to tell that story, but, <laughs> but I know everybody has a story about that. And uh, Lily Tomlin said that reality is the leading cause of stress among those in touch with it. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes, you know, people have tough life situations, you know. Uh, people have tough personal situations, people have tough financial situations, and of course the reality of that is painful, but, but if you, people can kind of take, take a little bit of a break or a little bit of an, of an escape uh, from the day-to-day -day kind of grind of your life, um, you know, and, and enjoy, you know, quotes and, and entertainment by people like Lily Tomlin, I think that'll be, that'll be great. And of course, you know, even just walking in this room, you can see kind of the this, the, all these social benefits of, of humor and laughter and, and keeping things light, um, strengthening relationships. Um, it, it attracts others to us. I mean, when you go in, into a party or, you, or when you even go, you know, to a social event, I mean, you want to you want to be around those people, don't you? I mean, you don't want to be around like the, the, the boring and depressing people. Uh, you want to be around the fun people and, and the people who are bringing smiles to your face and telling jokes and things. Um, it help, does uh, diffuse conflict, and uh, we all have been in that situation where, you know, some person, um, family, uh, are uh, <laughs> really up in your face for some reason, uh, and then something just happens or you try to diffuse a situation either with just a smile or a joke or something, and, and that can really change the course of, of what's happening. Uh, and if it doesn't, then, then you run really far, uh, really quickly. Um, uh, promotes group bonding, you know, you can see that in this room here, and, and of course uh, enhances teamwork, and, and we do see that a lot upstairs, you know, here, here in the hospital, here in the medical center, you know, you, um, you go up and, and you know that, you know, some of these patients um, are very sick uh, and very ill, uh, but you get, to, you know, with, with the team of, of everybody, you know, um, the team of people that are helping them. Um, if there's a way to kind of try to lighten up this situation, I think that can really helps clear my thinking uh, when it comes to trying to help these people. And uh, uh, it, it does really promote teamwork, not only you know anywhere here in the hospital or in the office or in your groups that you work with. Uh, humor really does that. Now this is really, really fuzzy, so I apologize about that. <laughs> Um, but it says here, and it's supposed to be a certificate on the, on the wall there. Uh, warning, patient will be charged extra for annoying the doctor with any self-diagnosis gotten off the internet. That's right. Put your phone away back there. <laughs> uh, and, you know, I, I, uh, just as an aside, you know, I, I do a lot of talks to, to physicians, you know, about uh, Dr. Google. Uh, and that happens all the time. Uh, and um, so, yes, it's, it, this is one of the things that really kind of gets the ire of, of uh, physicians and providers. It's like, what are you bringing this stuff in? Um, but, you know, I, I, really, I, I really welcome that. I mean, it's, it's, it's the, really the age of information. I mean, you have so much power in your hand now for people who have smartphones and for people who don't. I mean, I know people who have computers and they print out stuff and, and bring that stuff to me all the time. And, and sometimes, you know, they, they come in very aggressive. Um, but, you know, just, just like I said before, just trying to diffuse the situation and try to, try to start that dialogue on that. Um, and, you know, when they come in and say, oh, my doctor said ask, <laughs> The commercial said, ask your doctor about this. <laughs> that never happens either. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's, it's a great way to kind of start a conversation there. Now the downside, people are already, you're getting, you're jumping to the punchline too quick. Here. <laughs> wow, this is a sharp group. Let me finish this slide first and then, then you can. Uh, but of course, humor is complicated. Okay, humor is in the high eye of the beholder. Okay, so 
Um, and especially when it comes to people in healthcare, you know, you have to be real sensitive to patient privacy. Um, and you know, people always say, you know, it's it's kind of the elevator test. You know, if you can talk about something in the ele in an elevator full of people, uh, then that might be okay to talk about. But if you can't, then maybe you shouldn't be talking about that in public, and especially joking about them or bringing humor to somebody else's situation. So really, really be careful how you use humor, especially here uh, in the hospital as far as when you're talking about other people. Uh, kindness, concern, respect, always, especially in healthcare. It's very, 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 very important. I know all of you know that already. Uh, and there's particular, uh, different cultures, you know, and uh, we're seeing that more now, and uh, you have to be sensitive to that. So what a word or what a phrase or what a saying that we have uh, may be interpreted as offensive to somebody of, of different cultures. So if you're, if you're trying to tell a joke or trying to bring humor and, and, and there's a disconnect there or you feel like that they're uh, maybe offended, then you have to be sensitive to that. Uh, and of course, there's inappropriate humor. Uh, and of course, this is Donald Trump and he's talking about his hands. And if you don't get the joke, uh, talk to me after uh, my talk. And, I will fill you in on that. Uh, so a couple of other things uh, as I was uh, talking with my friends and colleagues, um, Jonathan is a social worker uh, and uh, he says humor helps people learn, humor helps build rapport between patient and provider because we find the same things funny or my provider isn't this scary other person. People tend to get anxious about healthcare appointments. Uh, white coat syndrome, people are probably familiar with that. People get very anxious. I still like my white coat, but that's a whole nother therapy session. Um, <laughs> humor leads to laughter, which reduces stress, which improves health. I've never met someone who wasn't in need of a good laugh. Uh, tell a joke about God, he thinks he's a doctor, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, and uh, Elliot is a uh, family physician in the Akron area, and uh, he says uh, using humor appropriately puts the patient at ease and makes the patient visit uh, more enjoyable than it would be otherwise. One of my favorites is to tap on a child's patellar tendon, that's the thing that makes your leg kind of go up, and have their foot shoot out and proclaim, oh, you get a kick out of that. And so there's these little uh, interactions in the exam room that can really kind of go a long way. Uh, so <laughs> as, uh, as I start to close up, I'm gonna uh, share uh, some things which, which I think are funny uh, and some examples uh, from popular culture and I'm glad that YouTube works. Uh, so people know MASH, um, MASH the movie, MASH the uh, TV show and this is kind of one of my first uh, exposures to humor in healthcare uh, was to watch this and I'm like, oh, I mean, <laughs> doctors are funny. Uh, and uh, so what I'm gonna try to do, is see if I can do this, is to play this clip here. Let's see if this works. Whoa, 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 oh, there. All right, let me. Yep, in the mouth. Mm -hmm. People say Americans are crude. Oh, come on, Charles, where's your Halloween spirit? <laughs> Halloween spirit? <laughs> At any moment, a wounded soldier could come in here truly needing my services. What am I doing? I am treating some leather brain who literally decided to have a ball. I will show him some Halloween spirit. Oh, thank Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. Winchester. And your name is? Would that be with one M or two? <laughs> oh, three. Now then, what seems to be the uh, problem? <laughs> now, my dear lad, don't be shy. The doctor is your friend. <laughs> A bit congested. <laughs> See a little frog in your throat? <laughs> could you could you cough for the doctor, please? <laughs> oh, my dear man, how can I discover what's wrong? 
wrong with you if you will not cooperate? Oh, I see. You want me to take your temperature? I can do that. Do you realize that you have something in your mouth? What on earth could that be? Look here. Six painted on it. Could that be how old you are? Oh, now I see. You may not realize this, but you have a pool ball lodged in your mouth. <laughs> no sweat. There is an alternative. I'll just take your temperature the other way. <laughs> get mad at me, chum. I, I, if you didn't have that silly pool ball in there, I could stick the thermometer in your mouth. <laughs> Wait a minute, I got a crazy idea. No, this, just, this just might work. What if I were to remove the ball? <laughs> How would I do that? Let's see. What to do? I know. I shall pull all your teeth. Oh. <laughs> Hello, sport, a marine or a mouse. Could use a muscle relaxant. That'll do the trick. But it is the wimp's way out. Be forewarned, Private Moscone. The next time we meet, I plan to perform major surgery, whether you need it. <laughs> so people people remember mash yes yes people probably have their favorite mash uh, scenes in their head um, whoops people know patch Adams People are familiar with Pat Adams. You know who he is. So people know who he is. He's a he's a doctor. He's a real doctor. And um, every year he takes a team um, and they dress up as clowns uh, and they go to different places in the world to help take care of people there. They help bring humor to people there. They help bridge the communication gap uh, with people there. Uh, people may have seen the movie a few years ago. Um, Starring Robin Williams, uh, but if you haven't read about him, it's it's it's, it's he, one of his missions in life is is to bring more humor uh, in healthcare and also to help uh, change the healthcare system. Uh, so I'm going to play a little clip from the movie. If it works. <laughs> Out in the town or in Sorry for the ad. Right now at AT and T, buy one get one free on our most popular smartphones. Buy one at AT and T and get one free.
cela So your assignment, your, uh, your homework, is to watch that movie. Um, now in the movie itself, that, this is, that, that was the kind of the first time that the character kind of started experimenting with, with humor and, and got that response. So. Now uh, today, uh, this is a friend of mine. He is an internal medicine physician and he does a lot on the Facebook. Uh, and YouTube videos, and he's trying to, to kind of carry on this, this great tradition of humor in healthcare. Uh, this is really kind of directed more towards the public and towards medical students, um, and he does song parodies. Um, and uh, if we have any Garth Brooks fans out there, I know, I know, I know you're out there. Uh, so this, what he does is he takes medical diagnoses and he tries to break them down. Uh, and to make it more easier to understand, and, um, uh, and he does that in this manner here. So I will play this here, if I can find it. <coughs> wait, wait, that's not it. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Blame it all on my laps These bruises and scabs Is it normal to bleed when I floss? I was the last one to know What my CBC showed Why's my stool look like barbecue sauce? Ain't got no PCP so I checked WebMD, and I nearly stroked out as I read. So I went online and Googled others to find the support group instead. Now I got friends with low platelets where the nosebleeds blow, and prednisone chases my bruise away. Oh, I'm not big on thrombopoiesis. The 
<laughs> so he's got more of those. So now, I mean, it, it, in that video there, I mean, there, there were some, um, you know, uh, jargon. Uh, there were some words there. So doesn't ex expect people to know all of that. But what that does is it kind of opens a conversation, you know, with your physician and say, hey, I saw this, um, you know, um, when you say, oh, you know, I have uh, low platelets or I have, uh, you know, thrombocytopenia, you know, it's like, what the heck is that? Um, so this is a, a, a way to kind of raise awareness uh, in a funny type way. Um, and, you know, and hopefully you learn something with that. So, so that's what a lot of these things are, are doing now as far as trying to educate the public on a lot, some, sometimes complicated type issues. Uh, I know you can't see this because it's at the bottom here. So it, it reads here, I could be a healthy person if you stop finding things wrong with me. <laughs> uh, I get that a lot too. Uh, so personal thing. Um, and if you didn't already know, there are professional organizations out there that focus on humor and healthcare. This is one of them, the Association for Applied and Therapeutic Humor. I thought this was a joke, uh, but I started reading through it. Uh, and their annual meeting is in Arizona uh, in April. We should all go. <laughs> uh, because they all have a uh, all have a good time there, and uh, um, just for all the stuff that we've talked about today. And this is this is uh, for my nurse who said, "Hey, there is laughter yoga." I didn't really believe that. <laughs> so when you have your yoga, you know, don't go to the serious yoga because I don't go there because they're, I can't. I'm not that flexible, and they're they yell at me too much. Uh, but there's laughter yoga, so. So in closing, um, you know, it's, 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 it's great to come back here and, and to talk to all of you and, and to hopefully I, I brought a, a topic that is not talked about a lot, that is not as intense and complicated and frustrating. Uh, it's just as fun as humor. So thank you for your attention. It's, it's been great to talk to you today. Thank you.